Hi there. My name is Matt Becker. I am the leader of the One Control Network Management Team. Today I'm going to be discussing Sienna's evolution in network management, One Control. The first thing that will be brought up uh, in the One Control is what we call the One Control Dashboard. This provides an executive dashboard for our customers to visualize what is happening in the network. This is different than what we've done before from a network management perspective. What we are trying to do in One Control is provide our customers just the information that they want to see in the network without them having to mine for data. The dashboard is broken up into two areas. We have a resource links, and then we have the summary information. The one thing about the dashboard and about the whole One Control experience is that it's highly customizable for the customer. They can click and drag things around however they see fit. If they don't want to see things, they can remove them from the dashboard and it will be saved for the next time that they log in. Again, the idea that we want to give the customer only the things that they care about. The watch list provides something new to our customers that they did not have before. The watch list provides our customers with the ability to set up a specialized filter in the network. When that filter gets raised or something happens in the network to cause that filter to get executed, it'll come up to the watch list. This is very important and actually something we've gotten a lot of feedback on from our customers that would be very useful. The idea that if they're having a, a systematic problem in the network, whether it's with a specific type of equipment or a specific type of alarm throughout the network, that they can set up a filter and when that event occurs in the network, they will get notified on the watch list. This again allows our customers to only get the data that they're interested in rather than having to data mine for specific data. The idea of these summary and overview areas are to provide high level data about what's happening in the network but allowing the customer to get to the more detailed data very rapidly. The fault summary provides a summary of the actual faults and alarms in the network. How is this different than a typical fault list or what we were just viewing before with the high-level pie charts? Well, this is a little different. Over here, we have what we call the fault count view. This provides us a very bulleted list of the alarms that occurred during specific periods of time. We can choose time intervals of 15 minutes, 30 minutes, or 60 minutes. What this allows our customers to do and what we've received feedback from network operators is, well, what happens when I step away from my desk to go to lunch or to take a phone call and I'm not staring at the screen? How do I know that there wasn't something very big that happened in the network during that time period by the time I get back to my desk because all the alarms might have cleared? Well, what these provide and what this screen provides is a bulleted list of all the raises, all the alarms that have occurred during that time period regardless of whether they've cleared or not. You'll be able to go from each one of these items and actually view those alarms that have occurred at that time. Again, providing a very high level information to the customer, being able to go to the low level information. We also provide all the alarms that are currently outstanding in the network so customers know exactly what's happening in the network right now. In One Control, we provide a network map. Our network map provides a holistic view graphically of the network for all the devices. This is a 3911 device all the way to over here which we're managing a 6500 node. We can zoom in on the map just as you would expect on like a Google type map. We can look at the alarm states of all the nodes. We can look at the different type of nodes. This is a quarter rector node. Over here, we have a 5430 node. And what you get in the map is the high-level alarm state. If, if I wanted to look at, okay, what are the alarms on that node, I can very simply right-click on it and say, show me the alarms that are currently active on that node. It will bring up a filtered alarm screen where I can actually look at what alarms are currently active on that node. So you've now seen release one of One Control, where we're providing comprehensive and converged fault management for the entire Sienna portfolio. 
It's been a pleasure bringing you release one of One Control, and I look forward to you using it.